Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small guide on how to boost your FPS on the Elder Scroll Online, uh, the new expansion Blackwood. So I never did a guide on the, this game. Um, they had like a couple of expansions, so the game is kind of well optimized. I play like five to six hours and it's running well. The only thing is, uh, by default, your FPS will be locked at 100. So I will also show you how to unlock your FPS uh, with some like you have to do uh, some math and uh, we will change it in the user setting file So let's start with Windows first thing that I recommend right game mode Make sure that your game mode is at on uh, the latest version of Windows the game mode game mode is really good it, It's making sure that your game is using the best core on your CPU that all your resources are Like focusing on the game that you're playing so really important to use that Xbox Game Bar, I recommend to remove it, causing stuttering, mini lag, and stuff like that. Also, don't use any overlay, Discord overlay, GPU overlay, like the, the one from AMD or NVIDIA. Don't use that. Uh, you can't use MSI Afterburner to monitor like your temp, uh, like CPU, GPU, and stuff like that. But don't go too crazy with overlays. After that, capture background recording. Make sure this one is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, write GPU, open your graphics setting, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to restart your computer if it was not. Um, yeah, you need the latest version of Windows and you need uh, an NVIDIA card 1000 series or more recent. So if you have like an old card, you will not uh, you will not see this uh, parameter for AMD. It's tricky. I don't think they did the update. Probably you will have it like very soon, uh, but I don't think you can do that right now on an AMD card. Another thing that is really important, make sure that you update your driver. So Nvidia, AMD, uh, Intel, uh, really important. Even Intel, honestly, don't just update your driver by Windows update. Uh, you will lose FPS because of that. Uh, they just give you like a, a driver that to make sure that your monitor is compatible with your GPU and they can like sync together. But uh, like go on the Intel website, they have dedicated driver for your graphic card, your integrated graphic card. Uh, one more thing is the energy profile. If you're playing on the laptop, make sure that you're using like balance or performance mode. Uh, sometimes like it's very weird. You're playing like on like your on your laptop, on your battery, you're plugging your laptop in the wall and it's still in eco mode. You don't want to use that because it would use like 50 to 60% of the resources of your computer. Your boost clock will be low and stuff like that. So make sure that you're using a good profile. Also, same thing with your video card. Go to control panel. You can pretty much do the same thing with AMD. Make sure that you're using a good uh, profile. Also, power management mode here. I'm using maximum performance or really important. The one from Windows, I recommend balance or performance. Both are good for video games. So now let's go inside of the game. So now for the graphic setting. Um, first of all, make sure that your display mode, you're using full screen. Uh, mine by default was at window full screen and uh, you don't want to use that. It's causing a little bit of stuttering and I was losing FPS, so really important to use full screen. And also make sure that your resolution, you see it over there. Me, it was like some, it was just black without any resolution. So use the, uh, sorry, use the um, native resolution of your monitor. So if you have like a 1080p monitor, make sure that it's 1080p. If you have a 2K, go with 2K. I don't use vertical sync. And after that, for the graphic quality, use first of all custom because we want to change the stuff over here. The first one is texture quality. Honestly, if you have like four gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely play at high. And honestly, if you have three gig and more, you can probably also uh, play at high. Uh, they didn't test it on a three gig video card. Uh, I'm using um, two different PC. The other one is a four gig 1050 uh, mobile GTX, and uh, I can do easily I with the texture quality for anti-aliasing really depend if you don't care about aliasing I recommend to go with none you will have like a nice boost in your FPS if you want anti-aliasing go with FXAA it's doing the job uh, and uh, it's it's better than TAA for FPS and also I feel like TAA is a bit blurry in this game so I recommend to use FXAA Subsampling quality, this one I recommend medium, high to medium, I'm getting a 3% boost, medium to low, I'm getting 1% boost, medium is a good balance, so go with medium. Shadow quality, this one is pretty much where you can get uh, a lot of FPS, 
but uh, it really depends if you want to see shadows or not. If I compare Ultra to Off, I can get 12% boost in my FPS, so it's crazy. Uh, but it really depends, like, on how many FPS do you need and stuff, so it really depends. Uh, normally, you can get, like, almost 3%, 3 to 4% for each bracket. So if you want a uh, Shadow, I, I recommend Medium because low looks really like shit. It's like Pixel and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Um, after that, uh, screen space reflection quality. This one I recommend medium. I did a couple of uh, tests, and honestly, Ultra and I is taking a lot of resources. So for a mid-range computer, for me, medium is good. If you're playing on like an integrated GPU, like a really low-end computer, I recommend just to remove it. After that, uh, planner reflection quality. Just put this one at off. Maximum particle system and particle uh, suppression distance, put those one at minimum and uh, you will get a nice like 5 to 6 percent boost in your FPS and your FPS also will be a lot more stable. After that, you have the view distance. The view distance take a lot of resources, resources sorry, but still, you kind of like need, <laughs> need it on some video games. So if you will see, if you're playing at 100, it takes a lot of resources because you need to render far in front of you. So I recommend for low-end computers, something like 25 and mid-end computer and mid-end high refresh rate computer, I recommend something like 50 to 65. So it really depends what you want to do over here and if you're comfortable with what you're seeing in front of you. Ambient inclusion, it's a bit like a shadow. It will give you a lot of FPS. If I compare like uh, LSAO or even HBAO to none, you can get a nice 6 to 7% boost in your FPS. If you don't like uh, your image quality without any ambient inclusion, I recommend to use SSAO. After that, for grass, you have a lot of different options. If I compare Ultra to Up, you can get a nice 8% boost on your FPS. Honestly, low, it doesn't like look good. So if you want to have better grass, go with medium. Uh, medium is a good compromise. Or you can just remove it, as you can see over here. It doesn't like... It really depends what you, you want to do and what computer that you're currently using. So really depend here which graphic parameter that you want. But if I compare Ultra to Off, you can get, like I said, 8% boost in your FPS. Depth of field, I always remove that because you don't want to use that. I don't understand this, like who wants to use depth of field. So I just remove it. Bloom distortion, sun ray light, and additional any effect, everything at off. This will give you, first of all, 5% boost in your FPS. And also it will stabilize your FPS a lot. So that's about it for the graphic parameter. Now we will go inside of the config file. I will show you how to unlock your FPS. As you can see here, my FPS are unlocked at 144. So we'll show you how to do that. So let's go to the config file. So for the config file, so you need to go to document, Elder Scroll Online, live and user setting. Double click on it and you will see this. I recommend to use control F because you want to find something. And normally I write set minimum frame time dot two because this is what you need to change. I will put the comment in my uh, video description. You say find next. So by default, you will see normally here 0 0.0010000. This is pretty much how they lock to 100 FPS. So now we want like a special number that we will add here to make sure that we uh, unlock our FPS. So how we can, can we do that? So open a calculator. And it's pretty easy. You just need to divide 1 by the amount of FPS that you want. So for me, I have a 144 Hertz screen. So I'm going to do 1 divided by 144. It gives me this number. So you just add the number over here. though. So 0 0.00694444. If you have like a 120 Hertz screen, you do 1 divided by 120. And use this number. Pretty much the same thing for all the, the amount that you want to do. So if you have like a 165 Hertz, 240. So you just divide one by the amount of the FPS that you want. And this is pretty much it. You just update here. You press save. And I really recommend to log this file. So right click on it. Go to properties. Put this one in read only. So you're going to make sure that uh, because this option doesn't exist in the game. So you don't want the game to override what you just did. So that's why you lock your file in read only. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.
Peace.